Okay, hi, my name is Dinesh Rego. I'm part of the product management team here at Extreme. Uh, talking to you live from Extreme Connect 2022 in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. So uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the recent innovation we've done with our also popular and differentiating technology that we call Fabric Connect. So let's point over to the screen over here. So one of the first things that we did in recent years was we decided to make our fabric uh, more secure from a management perspective. So the first thing we did was we separated the management plane from the rest of the forwarding plane and created a separate management VRF. So that was introduced about a couple of years ago and then soon after that, we added the capability to extend fabric to the branch. You've probably heard the keynote message that talked about one network, which means a single fabric everywhere, and this includes the branch. But we were kind of one step ahead of the, the uh, extreme message. We had already created and put this technology in place to allow you to extend fabric to the branch. The next thing is increased scale. So why did we have to increase scale? As the fabric has grown in popularity over the last 11 years of its existence, we found that customers would have more than 500 switches in their network and they wanted to add more and a single fabric wasn't going to do it because we were bumping up against the limits of the fabric. So we came up with this concept of multi-area and what this allows you to do is, it allows you to break up your fabric into separate zones and areas. There are two benefits to this. One thing is it takes you past the scaling limit of the single fabric and allows you to scale to 10, thousands of no tens of thousands of nodes, which means, again, going back to the one network, you can deploy this fabric anywhere and not have to worry about the scale and the number of switches in your fabric. The next piece of the puzzle here was uh, extending fabric to the campus edge. So many of you have probably heard of our universal switching portfolio and most of the switches that we've introduced with the universal switching has been the edge switches. So this allows us to now take fabric to the edge. There are customers who are used to the traditional way of deploying switches at the edge, which is stacking, but many of our customers that like the benefits of security uh, that fabric brings to the table, they do not like stacking because it's a single large failure domain and it doesn't give them all the fabric capabilities to the wiring closet. So these customers were willing to compromise about uh, from as far as stacking goes and they said we'd rather have all these fabric segmentation capabilities at the edge. So with the universal hardware, we are now able to extend fabric to the campus edge because we have a number of edge switches that fit various needs. I kind of got ahead of myself but another thing with the innovation that we've done in recent years with Fabric is, again, as Fabric moves to the edge, now customers have to deal with tens or maybe hundreds of thousands, not, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit here, but maybe they have hundreds of switches and maybe even thousands of switches in their network. Configuring each of these individually is painful. So we said, let's make it simpler. Uh, we know that Fabric is simple, make it simpler to deploy. So we decided to improve and focus on infrastructure automation as well as edge automation. With the infrastructure automation, we introduced the concept of a zero touch fabric. And what that means is you plug in a switch into another switch, they automatically detect that uh, they're part of a fabric and they do all the basic fabric configuration. So you don't even have to do basic fabric configuration anymore. It's all automated. The next thing is we introduced Along with the uh, auto-forming fabric concept, we introduced a new port state. It's called AutoSense. And this port state basically detects the type of device or uh, user that's plugged into that port and does the necessary configuration. I already gave you the example of the self-forming fabric from an infrastructure perspective. But from an edge perspective, uh, APs can be onboarded automatically. Uh, users and devices can be automatic, uh, automatically added to the applicable segment that the user or the device needs to be added to. And that's what we did with zero touch with smart auto sense ports. And last but not least, I talked about infrastructure automation with APs. 
I'm pleased to report that the Fabric Attached Client is now supported on all of Extreme's APs, no matter what the persona or the use case is.